Touch Foundation has understood the need to come to Tanzanians and train Tanzanians to help Tanzanians. It's critically important. And quite frankly, they were way ahead of the game. They figured this out before many of us did. How do you protect them? Training Tanzanians to deliver health care. That's what the Touch Foundation does. The Buganda University and Hospital are in Mwanza, at the southern end of Lake Victoria. With the foundation's support, over 600 young people are studying to become doctors, nurses, and other health care workers. I want to be a doctor simply because I want to serve people. I want to serve my fellow Tanzanians who are really suffering from different diseases, and they get no help. The doctors are not enough. Now I want to serve them. That's why I want to be a doctor. It does give me a special sense of responsibility. Now we're actually dealing with patients, actual fellow Tanzanians who have problems and they come to us and trusting us, knowing that if I will see Stella, she will be able to help me with my problem. So it's, it's uh, quite an honor. A shortage of healthcare workers is one of the most significant ongoing problems at Bugando. There just are not enough doctors and faculty. So really one of the biggest challenges is uh, to make sure that we have sufficient staff. We can attract senior and experienced staff and we can retain them. Bugando must depend on makeshift arrangements with visiting faculty. Junior lecturers must be sent to Uganda and South Africa for graduate training. Clinical instructors come from Bugando Hospital, but there too, staff is short. With touch funding, while Cornell is placing residents and fellows at Bugando for one month to three year rotations. How are they stored? I want the other member of the group. The focus on training healthcare professionals is what distinguishes the work of the Touch Foundation from other organizations seeking to improve healthcare in Africa. The concept is if we can train one teacher, that teacher in five, six years, that potential teacher, will be able to train another generation. And that's the only way we're going to begin to deal with the severe manpower shortage. Touch supports the visiting residents program, purchases equipment, and pays tuition and fees. The foundation also builds infrastructure, including student and faculty housing. Perhaps most importantly, Touch lends management expertise. Touch leaders are turning to other parts of Tanzania. Beyond what we're doing here, what we'd like to do is help the Tanzanian government find opportunities to expand uh, its training capacity of all categories of healthcare workers throughout Tanzania. What we really, really would like to do is to help raise uh, the money in the states and help it make sure it goes the right places here for the most leverage. We can't change the whole world, but if we can show that we can, what can be done through a partnership uh, with the other participants uh, in this effort, in Mwanza, uh, then we think uh, that that example can be used to stimulate others to do likewise in other parts of Africa. A big endorsement of Touch's work in Tanzania are the plans of young people who will soon be doctors. I want to be a doctor. I want to make a difference, you know, contribute something. When I'm a specialist, I believe I'll do a lot of research if I'm, I'm given opportunity here because I believe I'll be working here at Uganda Medical Center and Uganda University College. So I believe that I'll do a lot of research. I'll contribute something to, to this area of Mwanza, even the whole country. Giving back to the community is, is very important and I think that's why I also chose medicine. I can say it comes from my background. I have a very patriotic father <laughs> and mother <laughs> who have instilled in me I love for my country and my countrymen. New healthcare workers at hospitals and clinics will demonstrate touch can improve the lives of Tanzanians. They are filling a need, they're filling a gap that's critical to the success of this medical care in this country. And we just wish there were more touches around uh, because they've understood that in order to really win, the war on HIV AIDS, the war on malaria, uh, to lower maternal mortality, which is one of the highest in the world. We have to have a better medical infrastructure. And that means hospitals, that means clinics, that means doctors, that means doctor's aides. And they're doing all of those things.